I know you're gonna dig this. Good day, guys. I got uh, some boxes in today uh, for the computer build that I'm doing. And uh, I'm gonna open them up here. I'm not sure exactly what they are. I'm hoping one's a hard drive and one's a motherboard, but uh, I don't know since two of the orders that uh, I had were on uh, back order. So uh, we're gonna check out to see what we got here. And uh, hopefully it is what it is. So let's get started at that. Let me get into here. Hopefully I can do this with one hand. I do believe this is a motherboard I can see inside already. It's a micro ATX. Nice packaging. Everybody likes these things. Oh! <laughs> Some more. Cool. I've never opened one of these. I've never even used one of these. So we're going to find out how these things uh, work. Let's see what kind they offer. And this is uh, the Asus P8H67M motherboard uh, revision 3.0, new H67 B3 revision. Uh, yes, here we go. The chipset's H67, fits i7, i5, Windows 7 ready, socket 1155. Uh, the EFI BIOS is easy and flexible to use, SATA 6 gigabit, two times the bandwidth, uh, mem okay, uh, any, any memory is okay, just push the button, uh, quiet and cool design, and anti-surge safe. Let's flip around here and see what it has to say. Here's a quick little look at it. Uh, what's really cool is that uh, I'm not going to use a uh, video card in this build here. I'm going to go off the, the chip itself, the processor, to see how that works. Uh, if I do need a, a GPU in here, then I will put one in. But uh, as far as I know, I can get away with just the graphics. And they have a button in here that I can just simply hit to kind of upgrade it a bit. Features... Uh, sockets for i5, i7, i3. Uh, sorry for the glare. I can't uh, you didn't do too much with that. Damn son. Uh, expansion slots: one PCI 2.0 times 16, one PCI Express 2.0 with four number four slot, and a regular two PCIs. Uh, the dims I can fit in here: two dims. Uh, I got eight gigs ordered. I think that's on back order. And we're going to go with the LAMs, a gigabit, audio 8 channel high definition, which is uh, pretty cool. And 14 USB 2.0 ports. 8 at midboard and 6 on the back panel, which will work out great for that uh, wood box. Alright, let's open it up. Let's have a look. Let's see. Do -do. Do -do. We got some accessory back here. Not much in it, really. <coughs> There's one serial ATA cable. Not much comes with this. There's another serial ATA, and that's it for that. Let's get to the motherboard. This looks nice. Here we go. This is the user guide. Tells you a little bit about uh, how to use the board, the drivers, and that. Uh, I suggest just throwing the, the disc away and going to the ASUS site to get the, the most updated ones. You give a cool little badge, which I'll put on the back of the PC, and your in out plates. That looks pretty cool. Alright, let's get into this board here. <laughs> Show this. Alright, here's a real close up look. These things are small, I've never, like I said, I've never had one of these before. But uh, here we go. Power connectors go up in here. Uh, 
there's your new slots that have been revised that's where the graphics card would go that's where your chip goes more power over there it looks pretty straightforward there's your uh, serial ATA ports I don't know if you can see that let's take a look two dims right here it says it will support uh, up to 32 gigs when uh, the 16 gig sticks actually uh, hit the market they do have them but uh, they haven't released them so I can't wait for that day that'll be exciting now let's take a look at uh, the in out panel on the back here <coughs> alright so you got uh, the share port here for either a keyboard or a mouse two USB a VGA DVI I'm going to be using the DVI with an adapter to go to HDMI uh, two more USB two more your gigabit over here and then your uh, your standard uh, audio and uh, that's about it uh, this is a sandy bridge board now they say there's an HDMI on here but uh, I don't see it maybe they meant uh, DVI must have been a mistake that they put down uh, the memory at max I can run on this board is uh, 1333 Yeah, so let's take a nice little look. Flip it around. That's a clean design on the back. I like that. Nice plate. Let's get in real close here. I don't know why it goes all fuzzy like that, but... I am looking for the memo K button. I see the memo K, but I don't see the button to push. Uh, I'll find it somewhere. And I think it only comes with one CPU fan uh, outlet right there. Anyhow, there's uh, a little bit about uh, the motherboard that I'm going to be using. It's not a fancy by any means. Uh, this is a budget build, and uh, I'm going to have to make do with uh, what I was given. I think the total build is going to be about uh, maybe 550 altogether. That's including the case, memory, hard drive, uh, this board. Uh, not the Blu-ray drive. I've already had that, so I'm not adding that into... Uh, the build and what else the processor the processor was pretty decent uh, it wasn't expensive at all I think uh, 124 no sorry 89 bucks I got it on sale so uh, you see how it works I got the Intel i3 3.3 uh, uh, the class class of the chip is uh, the i3 2120 and uh, it's it, to me, it seems like it's going to do the job. We'll uh, put it to the test here and uh, truly find out. Okay, next box. Let's see what we got hidden in here. Paper. All right, I like paper. Lots of paper. Uh, packing slip. Yes, it is the hard drive. The bubble wrap. Oh. Sound effects. Alright. I got one with the Seagate. Uh, I do believe this is a 500 gig. Yeah, 500 gig, 7200 RPM. Uh, pretty basic stuff here. Uh, Nothing too fancy. Yeah, we'll 
take a quick little look, take a peek in here. A nice static bag. Those are always handy, you should always keep these around. You never know when you have to transport a hard drive, take them out, or do whatever you got to do. Actually, this looks a lot thinner than what I'm used to. That is pretty thin. Let's take a look at that. It feels thinner. Anyhow, you got your your, uh, your power, and your SATA. Uh, I'm not going to need any jump. This is a thin. Wow. Cool. So yeah, that's not too much to a hard drive. I can't really show you the inside of it or, or else I would. Um, thanks for watching and uh, if you guys get a chance, uh, subscribe, rate and comment on the videos. All, all that really does help. Uh, thumbs up if you like the reviews. Uh, there's more to come. And uh, visit my store, pick up a shirt. Uh, I think the shirts look great. So if you, if you guys want one, pick one up. That'd be great. That helps. Uh, that helps me do what I'm doing right here. Alright, have a good day, you guys.